For millions of years, nature has existed in a state of perfect balance. It has done this so successfully that it's difficult to imagine how complicated and delicate that balance can be. We should realize that nature isn't something to control, but to learn from. Man already imitates some of the balancing processes of nature. For example, we purify polluted sewage by using bacteria in wastewater treatment plants. The amount of wastewater produced in cities and large towns is so great that the use of these biological processes must be on an industrial scale. But in smaller settlements, for example villages, they have an even better alternative. Root wastewater treatment plants. So this is the question for villages. Concrete or reeds and flowers? This film by Teresa Hutsova from the Remediation and Environmental Projects Department at Deconta shows new options for constructed wetlands for wastewater treatment for a new generation. This project was supported by the Ministry of Industry and Trade of the Czech Republic. The results of the BioStream project have verified the technology of hybrid constructed wetlands. They consist of classic filtration beds with a horizontal flow and a newly added vertical flow bed, which allows for a better removal of nitrogen. In addition, the project tackles the tertiary cleaning of substances such as residues from the pharmacological treatments, hormonal and contraceptions, and cosmetics that have begun to threaten aquatic ecosystems. Our experimental constructed wetland can be found in Kotinchice near Pshibram in the Czech Republic. A few weeks after planting the reeds and the flowers, it looked like this. The plants are just settling down. The constructed wetland was created by reconstructing the original wetlands built in 1994. Although the difference in efficiency between the old and the new wastewater plant is large, the basic principle of treatment remained the same. Their main element is a gravel filter field with wetland plants. Biological treatment takes place between the filtration material and the roots of these plants. Je to de facto úplně přirozený proces, ten samý princip jako třeba v potoce. Kameny jsou porostlé biofilmem, což je taková ta slizovitá hmota, představovaná právě tělíčky těch mikroorganismů, které využívají živiny obsažené v odpadní vodě jako zdroj energie. But the fact that it is the same process as in the creek does not mean that we can release the wastewater directly into the creek. It really doesn't. It would create problems for many kilometers and would not look very good. Moreover, even a constructed wetland needs mechanical pretreatment so that it captures the coarsest insoluble contamination, toilet paper for example. Microorganisms between the roots are responsible for the rest. These microorganisms in a properly designed treatment plant will survive even the harshest of chlorine-based household cleaners. Tady pak už ta příroda si pomůže sama. Je to právě výhoda kořenových čistíren, které mají delší dobu zdržení. Ten nárůst těch bakterií ve formě toho biofilmu umožňuje jejich kooperaci, takže jsou méně citlivé než bakterie volně plavající ve vodě. Thanks to the high biological stability of wetlands, the original wastewater treatment plant had a high degree of efficiency and met suitable pollution standards during its 18 years of operation. We must also take into account that only about two-thirds of the capacity of the plant, about 300 people, was ever reached. However, after years of operation, the mechanical treatment began to fail and decreasing effectiveness caused clogging. The first quarter of the filter had a field clogged by suspended solids. Further operation wouldn't have been affected. The much needed reconstruction of the plant was started by De Conta in the spring of 2012. The aim was to build a modern constructed wetland of the new generation with a tertiary treatment system for decomposition of pharmacological and chemical residues on the same location as the original constructed wetland, with a partial preservation of its treatment capacity. 
We believe that the following shots from the reconstruction will show the principles and the advantages of a modern constructed wetland for wastewater treatment. Let's start with the inflow of water and the critical element that failed. The mechanical pre-treatment by manual operation is replaced by new equipment that requires no operator and maintains a high working life. It is based on a mechanical bar screen. Behind the bar screen, there is an MOF tank for capturing suspended solids. The original septic tank will be used as an accumulation tank from where the wastewater is pumped into the wetlands. We assume that all water and sludge pumps will be insured by solar energy. The first mechanical stage of purification is principally the same as in conventional industrial wastewater treatment plants. But other levels of cleaning are completely different. Tady vidíme dva týdny čerstvě osázené kalové pole, které mají za účel zahušťovat ten hustý kal, který se akumuluje postupně ve štěrbinové usazovací nádrži. A ten hustý kal se ještě potom pomocí různých druhů mokřadních rostlin zahušťuje tak, aby měl absolutně tuhou konzistenci, aby měl nějakou koncentraci sušiny kolem 50 což se dá na klasických čistírnách s kalovým hospodářstvím dosáhnout pouze pomocí strojní mechanizace. The thickened sludge will be composted and used as fertilizer. Continuous inspection will ensure its safety. To jsou kontrolní sondy, pomocí kterých se bude sledovat, jestli je tam nějaká hladina té odseparované vody nebo není, nebo v jakém se to nachází vůbec stavu. A po případě, jestli tam hladina bude, tak se v ní zase v té vodě budou měřit parametry, jaké kvality ta odseparovaná voda dosahuje. The largest volume of work when building constructed wetlands is done by earthworks. Unfortunately, some investors believe that anybody who owns a bulldozer can build wetlands, but that is wrong. Modern constructed wetlands are a result of sophisticated calculations, teamwork of specialists, laboratory analysis, and a carefully refined know-how. This is the only way to design the proper parameters of the inflow piping, the optimal size and structure of root filters, and the location of wetland plant species. De Conta also proves that it's possible to improve the efficiency of a water treatment plant they offer cheap alternatives of side-by-side -side arrangements, as well as some more complicated, expensive and higher quality solutions. Tato čistírna je postavená jako experimentální, nátok je rozdělen do čtyř polí. My zkoušíme jednotlivé přepouštění těch filtračních polí, regulujeme nátok ve smyslu horizontálního a vertikálního toku, snažíme se měnit kyslíkový režim tak, aby bakterie v těch dalších stupních měly dost kyslíku na odbourávání dusíkatých látek. Zkoušíme i různé náplňové materiály se sorční kapacitou nebo jen to mění, če, takže odstraňujeme i živiny jako jsou dusík a fosfor i pomocí fyzikálně chemických procesů, nejenom biologických. Let's summarize the basic data. The experimental constructed wetland in Kotinčice has a capacity of 200 people and cleans water from the public sewage system of the village. The total area of the fields with filter beds is 1200 square meters. A quarter is made of an innovative vertical flow filter with pulse filling, which helps to remove nitrogen compounds. Filters are planted with six species of wetland plants. There are various reeds, irises, and other plants. A slag filter for absorption of phosphorus and sulfides is placed next to the filtration. The active area of the treatment plant is closed by an open water area where the water parameters get spontaneously stabilized to their natural values. The treated water flows into a creek. There are actually four parallel streams in one and an investor can choose the optimal variant. Čím víc potrubí, tím je to dražší, ale zároveň to tím líp můžeme regulovat a nebo máme i prostor pro optimalizaci té technologie zachodu. There is also a greenhouse as part of the experimental plant. It is intended for research. The Deconta company, which is engaged in the revitalization of environmental technologies, knows very well that there is always something to improve. In addition, it turns out that the world is facing a new problem. To clean water from residues of cosmetics and pharmaceuticals, including hormones from contraceptives. 
toto všechno se dostává do odpadních vod a je toho tak velké množství, že to již má reálné efekty ve vodních ekosystémech. Je feminizace rybí populace, nedochází k přirozené reprodukci rybí populací, je kumulace farmak v těle volně žijících živočichů, a to ať již terestrických nebo vodních. This problem can be successfully solved with the cultivation of algae. Algae can remove pharmaceuticals, estrogens and nutrients by up to 90%. Je to proces dvoufázový. V první fázi to nasorbují, až to mají na těle, tak oni to rozkládají. Jak to funguje v detailu, zatím nevíme zcela, ale víme zcela jistě, že jde o konzorcium bakterií a řas, které si vzájemně vyměňují metabolity a podporují se v této činnosti. Plants can also be an option. Rostliny zacházejí s kontaminanty dvojím způsobem. V případě kovů, toxických kovů, je ukládají ve svém organismu a ukládají je do částí tak, aby jim jaksi nebránili v životu. V případě organických polutantů, a my se zabýváme v tomto případě hlavně léčivy, ty látky v řadě případů degradují. V optimálním případě ty látky jsou degradovány až na kysličník uhličitý a vodu, takže dalo by se říct v podstatě zmizí z životního prostředí. The selection of the study plants is also interesting. Buď jsou to rostliny technické, které tady nevidíte, to je řekněme konopí, len, anebo tedy rostliny okrasné, kde samozřejmě to využití biomasy, v tomto případě květů okrasných rostlin, je poměrně ekonomicky zajímavé. It's obvious that the root wastewater treatment plants offer attractive services. Its advantage is that it's a living device that can take care of itself. Všechny tyhle ty procesy jsou vlastně přirozené a příroda je využívá tím čistícím procesům, takže to, že by příroda sama sebe zničila, nehrozí. So it depends on the investors if they choose concrete or reeds and flowers.